Alright, so I'm doing this video just so people know how to do it. But I'm in no way an expert on taking computer apart. I'm just doing it as I learn how to do it. So, basically you could void your warranty. You could do whatever to your computer and mess it up. So, do it at your own risk. But I bought this laptop with, the, with all the tax, it came up just a bit over a thousand Canadian. And it only had 256 gig of M.2 drive. And the graphic card only has 3 gig. And 8 gigs of RAM. Versus buying this one, which has double the RAM had an extra gig of video card and basically doubled the hard drive which is a m.2 drive probably i don't know anything about this one i only see what's written down in front of me and when i went to look at the specs at the bottom when i go under specs there's a place that shows dedicated video memory right here 4 gig. So for an extra gig and double the memory for probably close to 1500 after tax, I said no thanks to that one. So that's why I grabbed this one. And it says SSD, but it's actually an M.2. Then I went on, an, on the HP website to find out the RAM type, which is DDR4 3200 SD RAM. And I found a form. Some people were putting 32, some people were putting a total of 16. So I went on Amazon and I found this. It's a total of 32 gigs of RAM, two chips of 16. But, don't forget, that's in Canadian. 243.71 plus the tax, probably closer to 260 Canadian. So, you do this, you do it at your own risk. Worst case scenario, with my experience of having a computer that the RAM doesn't work, the computer does not boot up. So, take your chance, do it how you want it. Or just leave it as it is for this computer. And this is just a metallic uh, paint. It's not a light like some computers. So now I'm going to do the voiceover of me putting a Kingston SSD drive into my laptop just like this one. Which the, hard, uh, the SSD drive is about 960 gig I if I remember correctly, it's just so I can have close to one terabyte. And I know Kingston works well because I have it in two different computer right now. So that's why I went with something I know. So I'll do the voice over on this. So we, you guys can see what I did, how I took the computer apart. All right, so this is the voice over to Add an extra hard drive to a laptop that has a M.2 drive with Windows already on it. It's the HP Pavilion. I forgot the exact number, but I'll put in the description when I finish the video. You gotta remove three screws from the front piece after you flip the laptop over. One on each end and one in the center. Then you gotta remove two screws in the back piece, still under on the underplate, two on each side. Then you gotta gently peel off one of the corner from the back part without breaking your bottom plate. So go nice and gentle, then work your way from left to right to peel it off gently. On the left side of the, and uh, towards the front, you see the 2 RAM and the M.2. This is just a plastic box for the hard drive. So you got to remove the connector. Also remove the tree screw that holds the hard drive plate. 
Just be careful with the one at the bottom left of the hard drive for your wire. You don't want to break that wire, otherwise all this goes to, for nothing. And just remember, when you open your laptop, you might uh, void any warranty you got left on it. So just remember that. I'm doing this for me and show other people how to do it if they're not too sure. Because when I did my research, it wasn't that easy to find out how to take this laptop apart because there was no video on this specific laptop. And just remember, that cable also has two-way tape on it. So your screw might get stuck to it here and there. Once you remove it and you remove the cable, there's four screw, two on each side of the plate. Just remember how your plate was, how the plastic box for your cable was before you put in the hard drive, which is what I'm doing right now after I open the SSD drive box for the Kingston SSD drive of 960 gig. So smaller pin on the left, bigger pin on the right. So if you're doing like me and you're buying a Kingston SSD drive, the letter for the Kingston will have to be towards the bottom to be in the same exact angle. As you can see, if you put the letter towards the top, the big piece is on the left. It's not what you want. You want the small piece on the left. So, I have to install it this way with the serial number and everything of the hard drive showing upwards. So after I got that settled, I removed the plastic box, which is to me just a decoration box. Put in the Kingston SSD. Then I put the four screws, two on each side in. After that, I put the hard drive gently with the part with the wire first. Just to make sure, and now I'm just making sure everything lines up because I don't want to break a pin. It's a pain in the butt dealing with broken pins. Plug in the wire. So now I'm just lining everything up to put the screws in. And holding a camera and putting the screw is not the easiest thing. So I did some of it off camera, some of it on camera. And don't mind the, the noise in the background right now. I have three kids running around the house making noise. And giggling, of course. So as you can see, I'm having a little bit of issue with the screws, so... Because I'm doing it with one hand. And I managed to get it in. So I'm not tightening it all the way, I'm just putting it so it's nice in there. Just so I can put the rest of the screw, make sure everything's lined up. The one that gave me the most problem is the one with the wire, because I have to make sure not to ruin the wire for the SATA plug. Otherwise, it goes all to waste. And right now, if I remember correctly, I'm just putting down the wire, add the cable a bit so it's nice and neat. Because I did that final screw off camera. And I'm just looking at the laptop. So if you have a battery to change, your battery is at the bottom part 
on the right. So you put your plate back in. Front piece first. I did the middle. So the whole front piece first. Then I worked my way up towards the left. Then the right all the way towards the up. And then I did the middle. Then I made sure everything was clipped in. And I started with the small screws for the front piece, which there's only three. Oh, sorry. Make that the, the back screw first. There's four of them. If I remember correctly, I did one on each side, then I did the two middle ones. So that's a little clip of the four in the back done, and I'm pretty sure those one, yeah, I think those one were done. That's why I flipped it over. I'm just doing the voiceover by memory. Sorry about that. No way, no uh, professional, but at least you guys know what to expect by doing it yourself. So now I'm just booting up the laptop, making sure it turns on. But overall, I like this laptop. It's nice, quiet, and fast. As you can see, there's only one drive showing, which is the M.2 drive. So then you go on Start, Task Management. Uh, sorry, Drive Manager. Then this window open. That's where I messed up. So... I think I paused the video and figure it out after and restarted the video. But instead of hitting cancel, hit OK. Don't do like me. So then I just looked around and everything while I was trying to figure out where did I go wrong. And of course, one of my kids laughing in the background, which is always nice. And there you go, you go, if you do like me, a mistake, you go insert this, then you choose the disk, press OK. I was just taking my time reading what it was saying. Then you go right click, you do the new partition, then you set it up and I just make sure I got the full memory possible I can which is what I hate about Windows don't give you the actual full size of your drive then I just put it as a D drive because I'm used to the letter then I left it the way it was and then I press finish and then there was my drive as you can see then I went on my on this computer and I saw my disk and I actually renamed it to SSD D drive if I remember correctly. I just renamed it to SSD. Did apply. Yeah, SSD drive. Then I hit apply, then I did continue, then I hit OK, and then I did continue. So now I see SSD drive, then in bracket D. And that's it. If you liked it, hit the like. If not, most doesn't really bother me. I just did it to help you guys. Have a good one.